Hello math scholars. In this topic, you will be adding and subtracting compound units in time. Now this isn't very different from what we've done before, but we just need to remember to borrow or to carry over as needed, just like in addition and just like in subtraction. So I'll show you an example with addition first. I have six days and eight hours plus two days and 17 hours. And this will demonstrate carrying over. And remember, just like addition, you want to start with the smallest units. In this case, it will be the hours, right? So 8 plus 17 hours is 25 hours. The problem is we can't just write 25 down here below, because that would be wrong. We have to think about the fact that 25 hours is longer than a day. So we need to carry it over one day. So really, we write 1 hour, because 24 of those hours carries over into plus one day. And now we can add these up. One day plus six days plus two days is nine days. And we can decide here if we want to stop at nine days or if we want to go into weeks. I'm going to go ahead and go into weeks, right? If one week is seven days, then nine days is really one week and two days. So I would write it like so. It's perfectly fine to leave it as nine days. However, if it gets too large, it might be harder to work with. All right, carrying over is key. Now, for subtraction, this is something that a lot of people have a lot of issues on, but hopefully it should be pretty easy after we go over it. Subtraction is all about figuring out where to borrow. So I'll set up our problem. And let's start from the very right side, from the smallest units like we're supposed to. Three days minus six days. That's a problem because I'll get a negative number and I can't do that right now. So what do I do? I have to borrow from the next larger unit, which are the weeks. So if I borrow a week, this goes back down to three weeks. A week is really seven days. So when it comes back to the day column, that one week turns into seven more days. So this three gets seven more days and it turns into 10 days. So 10 days minus 6 days gets me 4 days, and 3 weeks minus 1 week gives me 2 weeks. So my answer is 2 weeks and 4 days. Remember, borrowing is key here. You borrow if you have to, and you only have to is if you're subtracting at the very, very low end of the units, and you, get a, you will get a negative result. You might need to borrow from the previous one. All right? Hope that was clear and good luck.